When using a router, one thing you have to adjust is the depth of cut. Usually it has to do with either the shape of the bit or how far you want to go into the edge of your wood. I'll be showing it on a table router and with a plunge router. For the demonstration on the router table, I'm using a chamfer bit. You take your piece of wood, line it up with the bit. With this particular table, you do your depth adjustment with the, uh, on top of the table instead of from underneath using this tool right here which goes into a, uh, a keyed slot, turning it to the left, drops it down, turn it to the right, raises it. So what I do is I raise it while holding the piece of wood up to the bit. Once you have it adjusted to the right height, you can go ahead and make your pass with the router. With the plunge router, the depth adjustment is made with a plate that's on rails and it has a spring in it to apply tension. You push it down, get it moving it in place, the bit comes out of the bottom of this plate. Push it down to your desired depth and then it has a locking lever on the back which holds it in place. Once again, you push the router down once it's in place, you lock it with the lever, and then you can check it from the underside, comparing it to a piece of wood to see if it is at the right depth. There are other situations where you might need to change the depth in a different way. One where you're not just comparing it to the edge of a board is this bit here. This bit can be used to put a groove around the inside of a piece of wood. A lot of times it's used on, on a box where a person needs to float a panel inside a frame. With this particular bit, it's best used on a router table. How I'm going to show you how to adjust this is by drawing a line on your board at the depth of cut that you prefer. Then what you do is you adjust the height of the bit to where it comes right to the bottom of your line. With this bit, you need to be using a fence on the router table. Once you've adjusted the fence to the proper proper distance from the edge of the board in to where you want your cut, you can make your pass. Often, the depth of cut is too deep to make in one pass, so what you have to do is do it in several depths up until you get to the point where your depth of cut is at the proper point.